Hello my friends, Amy Esther here with week 29 of my pregnancy. It is the last week in the 20s. That is just so exciting. I am so excited to be in the 30s because it's just one step closer to meeting our sweet baby boy. And I am just, I'm ready to be done being pregnant. Like I'm so happy to be pregnant because I have a sweet baby growing. But like I'm just so ready for him to be here. I am just so ready to not be pregnant. Those of you who have missed out on any of my pregnancy updates, I have a playlist and I will link it in the description below of every single week of pregnancy. Every Friday, I post an update and we'll continue to until we meet a sweet baby boy. So you can watch that there. And if you want more from me, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. All right, you guys, it is week 29. And like I said, I'm ready to not be pregnant. And it's because I've just been so incredibly sick. And the last few weeks, my videos have been just kind of scattered and random and I'm just like sitting down just chatting with you about whatever comes to my out of my mouth first because I'm just I like just don't even have the energy to really even plan out like exactly what I want to say to you. I just I'm just so so exhausted. So if you've missed any of my updates, just kind of a quick recap. The past few weeks I have been extremely sick. I would say the past like month and then just like every week just gets worse and worse and worse. And I'm definitely, oh, definitely getting worse. This week is much worse than last week. And I feel like last week and the week before was just me sitting here complaining to you guys. And now I guess that's what we're doing again. So I promise you guys who <laughs> haven't seen my other videos, that I do try to be positive and uplifting about my life because I have several chronic illnesses and I believe that it's totally possible even when things are terrible to be happy and joyful. Um, but because these pregnancy updates are just me chatting with you, I feel like they come across as me just like complaining all the time. Um, and like truthfully, life is really hard and i am so so sick but i'm honestly like still genuinely really happy i feel like life is still going really well i feel terrible physically but i feel like mentally i'm still doing really well and i'm still feeling really happy and um i'm happy to be pregnant with this boy i'm of course will be extremely happy when he comes but i'm still happy to be carrying him i feel really blessed to be carrying him to be able to be a mother is just such a huge blessing and I feel like this time where I am this sick is actually perfect timing in my life um, I have a lot going on um, once baby comes there's a lot that's gonna be happening and um, I haven't even told you guys a lot of things going on um, but this summer is like a kind of like a dull time in my life like there's just not a lot to do we're kind of barely getting out of quarantine um, if the, you're watching this in the future that's kind of the time it's June right now June 2020 um, and 2020 has been insane and so you know there's not a lot to do outside of the house anyway um, it's summer I get really severe heat intolerance so again I can't really go outside much right now anyway um, I typically tutor math during the school year and it's summer again, which means I wouldn't normally be tutoring at this time anyway. So I, I feel like if it was the middle of the year and I had to quit tutoring, I would just feel like I was missing out on some uh, income for my family, those kind of things. So I feel like if I'm going to be really sick, this is the time to do it. And so I have to keep focusing on that is like, honestly, like the timing is actually not terrible. Um, I only have one child to take care of once the second one comes it's of course gonna be harder but I would rather be pregnant or rather be sick during my pregnancy than after my pregnancy and hopefully when I was pregnant with my daughter this happened um, I felt really good after my pregnancy ended um, after my I shouldn't say after my pregnancy ended I've had some miscarriage so so when I say that that comes off as something totally different. What I meant to say was um, I felt really good after I gave birth to my daughter and I'm really hopeful and just for now that's what I'm going to believe is that I'm going to feel really good after my baby comes um, because pregnancy is really hard on my body. I mean my body already struggles because I have several chronic illnesses 
And then you throw on being pregnant and all of my organs and everything kind of out of whack. It just gets even worse because it's already out of whack. So anyway, um, I'm still really happy and I'm still going to try to be really positive, but just know these pregnancy updates are just me sharing with you everything that's happening. So if it comes across as me complaining, then I'm sorry, but sometimes you just kind of got to complain, even though um, I do feel very blessed and I am very happy. Anyway, that was a very long like disclaimer. That was like five minutes of me just ranting about, I don't know. Anyway, sorry. I just kind of rant sometimes on these pregnancy updates because it's just me chatting with you and it's really fun. Anyway, so um, let's start with the symptoms and then I'll get to like my sickness after because I kind of want to start with kind of normal pregnancy symptoms and then we'll talk about the problems that I've been having. Um, so first of all, weight gain, I'm 150 pounds. And actually when I stepped on the scale today, it literally said the same thing it said a week ago, which was 150.2. And it said the exact same thing a week ago. So I guess I've gained exactly nothing this week, which actually doesn't really surprise me because I've been extremely nauseous this week. Now I never throw up you guys. I don't know what's wrong with my body. I just cannot throw up even when I want to. Like there are times when, uh, cause I've had a lot of stomach issues or I'm really nauseous or something. And it's like, I honestly want to throw up because then I'd feel better, like feel that relief after because I'm so sick and I can't do it. I just can't throw up you guys. So <laughs> that doesn't happen, but I'm just extremely nauseous. Um, haven't really had a big appetite. I do have to eat though, because if I don't eat, then some of my other problems get so much worse. I get really, really dizzy. Of course, baby needs food. Um, obviously, I need to eat for him, um, but I get extremely dizzy. My blood sugar drops um, pretty quickly with this pregnancy. I've had some blood sugar issues. My blood sugar will just drop. And then um, if I'm not eating enough like salt and water, then my blood pressure drops even more. And my blood pressure has already been really low this pregnancy. Talked about this a lot the last few weeks, but my blood pressure is just kind of hovering over that really low line, but not really passing it and getting too low, if that makes sense. So it's 90 over 60 is what my, my doctor told me to watch out for anything under that. And I'm always like 92 over 58. Like that's like always where it is or 94 over 62 or something like that where it's just like riding that line where it's not quite low enough that I need to like get on medication or I need to go into the hospital but it's just real close all the time and it just doesn't seem to be going up um, and then my heart rate has been crazy high um, I have postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome which basically just means when I stand my blood pulls at my feet and my heart starts beating really fast to try to get that blood to come back up. And so like right this second, 125 beats per minute is where we're sitting at. And all I'm doing is sitting here talking to you guys. So my heart gets really high. It gets, I get really tacky tachycardia, which just means my heart rate is abnormally high. And um, that can be a little scary for the baby. I tested it like an hour ago as I was just resting and it was on 149. So being around 150 beats per minute at resting is not good. <laughs> and even like right now being at 125 is just, it's not good. Um, but my doctors informed me that the baby has his own heart and his own heartbeat. So it shouldn't affect him. Um, of course, unless I like pass out or something. Um, so baby seems to be doing good from everything we can tell. He seems to be doing good, but I am just not doing good. <laughs> um, so besides my blood pressure being low, which can cause me to be really dizzy and fatigued and just feel really awful and my heart rate being really high, which again can make me feel really dizzy and fatigued and awful and my muscles hurt and all the things. Um, <laughs> besides that, um, you guys know I've also been, uh, anemic and you know one more thing because we got a lot to talk about with anemia so we're gonna get to that in just a second but a few more things pregnancy related super nauseous not a big appetite we talked about that i've had like i said i don't throw up but for me it comes out the other way so i've had a lot of that if you know what i mean i don't know why it's just been really bad this week and then my gallbladder has been on fire it hurts so bad and i actually talked to my doctor a week ago 
Um, and I think we're gonna get it out after the baby comes. What he told me is when you're, um, if you're already having gallbladder issues, when you're pregnant, it puts extra strain on everything. And so it'll just get worse and worse when you're pregnant. So my gallbladder hurts so freaking bad. Every time I eat, sometimes if I don't eat, sometimes just randomly, I don't know, my gallbladder, just someone is stabbing me in the gallbladder and it hurts very badly. Um, and then I'm still having like the lightning crotch and the pain from like my belly to my mid thigh, like everything there hurts, especially when I walk, I kind of have to like lift up my belly because it's just, he is just big and he is just heavy and yeah. So we still got all that going for us. And also anemia. Let's get to that. So you guys know a week ago I went to my doctor um, like the morning right before I filmed my last update, my 28 week. I went to my doctor, my um, not my OB, I went to, uh, oh you guys, brain fog has been so bad by the way. I went to my primary care physician and he tested me for a bunch of stuff. We were trying to figure out why I'm still anemic because I've taken iron my entire pregnancy super consistently and we can't figure out why I'm, why I'm still anemic. Um, so he tested my B12, my folate, uh, my iron levels. We did some urine tests and some other tests because I have a lot of things going on. I've also had like insane thirst where I'm just so thirsty all the time, no matter how much I drink, I'm still thirsty. So we tested for a few things there, um, which by the way, I don't have gestational diabetes. I know that can be a sign if you're extremely thirsty, but I don't have that luckily. Anyway, I told you guys in that last update that um, I should have my blood work back by today and I do not. So that's a little frustrating. So my nurse a week ago told me it'll probably be about a week. Call me um, next Monday morning. So it's Monday right now as I'm filming this. She said, call me next Monday morning and I will see if your blood works in because a lot of it had to be sent out. So it's going to take a while. And I called them this morning and no one has called me back. And I keep hoping that like while I'm filming this, someone calls me back and I can tell you the results. But so far, no one's called me. I don't know. I don't know what is causing this. So I am on now B12 folate and I tried a new iron supplement that I had heard really good things about for people who weren't. Um, uh, oh, my brain, you guys. It just isn't working. Iron supplement for people who aren't absorbing iron that's what I meant to say man you guys these are rough and I kind of don't like to cut out those kind of parts in these videos because it's just this is real like this is how I really am right now is I just my brain is not working I'm saying the wrong words all the time like to my husband I'll say the wrong thing and he has to figure out what I'm trying to say to him I will forget things like crazy earlier today my husband I was going downstairs and he said hey, while you're down there, grab the batteries that we need. And I'm like, oh yeah, totally. I'm not gonna forget. And we like kind of made this joke and I forgot them. And then I came upstairs and he's like, uh, did you forget the batteries? And it was seriously like two seconds of me going downstairs, coming back up, I forgot. Went back down a second time, forgot a second time. So that's that's how we're that's how life is going right now. <laughs> so I'm not feeling good. I think I need to lay down. My heart rate is crazy high. Um, but point is I don't have my blood work back. I don't have any updates for you on why I'm so anemic, why I'm not getting better, but this anemia, you guys, has been so awful. Like I have had no energy and I feel like people who have never experienced extreme fatigue like I do, don't understand. Like I know a lot of you out there who are watching this have experienced that extreme fatigue where being fatigued can take you out of work and out of doing anything because you're just so exhausted and you feel so sick you can't even get out of bed but people who have never experienced that i feel like really weird telling them like oh yeah my pregnancy has made me really sick and they're like oh no are you throwing up all the time i'm like no, I'm just fatigued. And like, I always feel like I say like, just fatigued, even though it's like such a huge deal. Like I literally cannot get out of bed sometimes. Like I have to crawl to the bathroom. I'm just exhausted. And I lay on the couch all day while my <laughs> toddler just plays around me. And 
I am just so, so exhausted. And it's hard to explain to people who don't experience that. So you guys who have, uh, please comment below and let me know that someone knows how I feel when you are so fatigued, but other people are like, oh, why don't you just take a nap? Uh, did you just not sleep good last night? Oh, just go rest. Like, go lay down for a little bit and you'll be fine. Like, no, I'm laying down 24-7 and I'm still exhausted. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway, you guys, I know someone out there knows what I mean, hopefully, or I'm just crazy, but I am exhausted. So anyway, point is, I'm very tired. I'm still happy to make these videos every week, but honestly, just sitting here to film this takes like all of my energy. Um, luckily, I was planning on getting ahead on videos. So when the baby came, I had kind of like a stock of videos that were edited and ready to go. Um, and so a lot of the videos for the rest of summer, I've actually already filmed them, which is the hardest part when I'm feeling fatigued. Like editing is not quite as hard for me because I can just like, I don't know, kind of lay there and edit the video. Um, but luckily I did get ahead on filming for you guys. So I will still have content coming out every single week here on my channel. I want to be consistent and keep sharing, um, so much information with you guys. And I will keep doing these pregnancy updates. It's kind of nice for me to actually get ready for one day a week and to film and just kind of pretend that I'm feeling good <laughs> just for a few minutes. Um, because I don't know, I just love creating this content here on YouTube. So it's kind of nice that I still get to do that once a week, but I still have a bulk done so that I don't feel stressed about trying to get content out for you as well. So anyway, you guys, if you want to see all that content, make sure you're subscribed, but that's everything for this week. I think, I mean, I'm sure I forgot something because so much has been going on. Life is just crazy. I'm exhausted. I have no energy, but I think that's everything for this week. So I will catch you guys on week 30, which will be next week. We will be in the 30s and that is the very last stretch. Last stretch of pregnancy, you guys. We can make it. Anyway, love you guys. Have a wonderful day.